Ooh. Okay. And the only reason I wouldn't use, you know, the current U.S. champion is because I just don't think that he would be a starter. I, I feel like using him on the first leg would just be like a, a, almost like a waste to his talent. Hmm. Okay. And that's, yeah, that's the only reason I, I just don't see him. I don't see getting his, his full capability out of first leg. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hey, speaking of him, though, did you guys see he ran 43.80? Yes. Him? Yes. Do you want to get into the diving league? <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> I, I was very shocked. And I was talking to Josephus. I was like, hey, are we looking at somebody who might have peaked just for USAs and they're now on their peak and they might you know, peak out? And Josephus was like, no, I don't believe that. Uh, he believes that this is you know somebody who's just building up into their peak. And uh, because there that is a, a case, you know, the US is such a hard what's good everybody it's the go aaron brown and before this video starts, be sure to follow me on instagram it's linked down below in the description and if you support the videos that i make and you support my channel be sure to become a member of my channel it's in the first link in the description down below become a member of my channel today to show your support all right now let's jump into it this video i will be talking about this blatant outright disrespect to quincy hall the man is the USA champion. He's the world leader in the 400. The only man to run 43 seconds this year in the four. And last year at the world championships, the only American to even get a medal in the open 400. It's like, what more do he have to do to prove himself for him to not get disrespected? And the reason I'm even making this video, because I just don't like to see real ninjas get disrespected. See, a lot of these guys are track guys. And then you just have guys participating in track who are real ninjas. And that's the category that Quincy Hall falls under. He don't say much. He don't make excuses. If he lose, he lose. He just get back to work and come back to try to prove himself. When he win, he just go out there and talk about the hard work that he put in to win. He take care of his family. He be fishing and stuff like that all the time. Just a real ninja on and off the track. Not one of these guys that lose and make a million excuses. He's just on to the next and keep on working. And that's what I respect about him. So when I see real ninjas get disrespected, I feel like I'm obligated to speak up. Because how would a guy who on the last time he even ran a 4x4, four four, who damn near split 46 seconds, um, say that he should be on a 4x4 four four with other guys who Quincy Hall have stepped on this year and last year in the open four? say that these guys should be on a 4x4 four four instead of him. Quincy Hall took the Twitter after seeing this disrespectful clip. He said, I don't buy. He added Noah at that. He added Noah Lyles like a real ninja would. He said, Noah, I don't bother nobody, but my block's ready. Anytime you feel like you can beat me in a 400. You was talking too much on my name on your little podcast, Track World News. I don't do the little slick comments and remarks line up. And I respect that because he's a competitor. He's just kept it in track. He could have took it many other places, but he kept it in track. He said, you disrespected me. So if you feel like you better than me and deserve my spot, line up. And I get this because Quincy Hall done worked hard for everything that he got. He got kids. He got to he take care of his kids from running track, take care of his family and the things that he want and need out of life, he take care of all those things from running track. And he gets money from winning medals. And a 4x4 four four medal is a medal that he should clearly get because he won the Open 400 at the USA Trials, has the fastest time in the world in the Open 4, and is the only American that medal last year in the 400. So for somebody to say that he shouldn't be on a relay, a 4x4 four four is pretty much taking money and food out of his mouth and his kid's mouth. And that's disrespectful in my opinion. And everybody else felt the same way. And that's why this clip blew up so big. One pretty big influence out the UK, Lil, said, the issue is that Noah Lyles think being disrespectful is what needed to grow track and field when that's not the, the tactic any athlete in my lifetime used. And the sport was biggest it had ever been. We're not aligned at all. And this is fact. Usain Bolt never had to disrespect nobody to be the biggest person in track and field has ever seen. He went out there. He performed at the highest level ever. 
won medals, was secure with himself, and got the job done every single time. A guy like Noah Lyles with this false confidence, he's really a narcissist, in my opinion, and he's projecting. He's trying to make himself seem like this great, great guy, but he's 27 years old with an Olympic bronze medal to his name. When guys like Usain Bolt were 25 years old with six Olympic gold medals. So he see he, that he's super, super behind of the guys that he's trying to surpass. So he's trying to do everything in his case to get as many medals as he can. But his coming off is desperate, disrespectful, and arrogant. I feel like every time bro open his mouth, it's just something ridiculous that comes out. And everybody knows I'm not a big Noah Laws fan. I honestly don't like him. But I'm with him when he's right, and he's usually never right. If all he did is went out there and performed, not make excuses when he did lose, I would have no problem with him. But he does the most, and it's simply ridiculous. But y'all let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Do y'all think that Noah Lyles should run the 4x4 four four and Chris Bailey over Quincy Hall? Or do y'all feel like what Quincy Hall said was pretty valid? Like, if you don't feel like I should be on here, line up against me and show me. Y'all yeah, like, let me know what y'all think down below in the comments and be sure as a supporter of my channel to become a member of my channel by hitting the first link in the description down below.